fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to the thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of a great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for the Hayden Ranch. Oh, Silver. Away. The whole country celebrated the wedding of young Jerry Tolliver and Nancy Hayden. It was an occasion that everyone had looked forward to for weeks, and every member of every family spent the whole day at the Hayden Ranch. The ceremony was in the morning. There was a barbecue in the afternoon and at night a dance. But shortly after the music started, the young couple stole away from their guests to the great veranda that circled the ranch house. Don't make any noise, Jerry. Some of the children are asleep out here. I see them. <laughs> it's nice to be alone, though, isn't it? Yes. I swear I've shook hands with so many people today that I'm going to have to wear my arm in a sling. I'm tired, too. What I'd like to do is uh, climb in the buckboard right now and drive home. We promised we wouldn't leave before 12 o'clock. I know. Jerry. Yeah? Are you happy? <laughs> what do you think? As happy as I am. Well, sure. You couldn't be. Seems too good to be true. Well, there were plenty of times when I thought it never would come true. That's part of what I mean. It isn't just you and me, it's everybody. There won't be any more fighting between the Tollivers and the Haydens now. Never again. There can't be. When I think how hopeless we felt about it once. I would still feel hopeless if a certain party I could mention hadn't gone away. I wonder where he is. In China, I hope. Well, naturally, you couldn't expect me to say that. No, he's your kin, but just the Let's same... Let's not talk about it. Kiss me once and then we'll have to go back to the... What's the matter? Nothing. Jerry, you go back to the party alone. I'll join you in a minute. You gone loco? Please don't ask any questions. Just go along. What's the idea? You trust me, don't you, Jerry? That's got nothing to do with it. I can see in your face that you're afraid. I'm only afraid that you won't do as I ask. Believe me, this is important to both of us. Where are you going? Please, Jerry. Well, all right, honey. Nancy. Nancy. Gotta find her. That's all there is to it. Is that you, Nancy? Yes, Jerry. Have I been gone long? Nearly half an hour. I... I'd like to go home now. Why, it's nowhere near 12 o'clock. That doesn't matter. I can't stay here any longer. Why, honey, you're... You're trembling. It's cold. Get me my shawl and we'll go. 
Well, aren't you going in to say goodbye to people? You know what it'll be like if we go in there. They won't let us go. Even if we insist on it, there'll be a lot of horseplay. They'll try to stop us. I couldn't stand it. I couldn't face them. Nancy, you asked me if I trusted you. You've got to. Well, then what about your trusting me? I'm your husband. You've got to tell me what's wrong. Nothing. Nothing, as long as you don't ask questions. I thought I heard a bird out there, but it must have been a whistle. You went out there to meet someone, didn't you? Yes, I did. Who? I can't answer that. But Nancy... And no matter how many times you ask, my answer will be the same. I can't tell you. Shall we... Shall we go home? If you want to, I'll get your shawl. Two weeks passed, and then Jerry rode over to his father's ranch one day. He found Sam Tolliver sitting on the fence of the corral, mending a bridle. Oh, oh boy. Steady now. Hold it there. Howdy, Paul. Howdy, son. Well, uh, you and Nancy had a fight? I know. What makes you ask that? Your face looks mighty black. Maybe so. We, uh, we haven't been fighting, though. Well, you're going to climb off that cayuse and spend the time of day? Oh, I'm on my way to Birchville. Oh, that's so? What business you got in Birchville? Well, it isn't my business, exactly. The railroad goes through there, you know, and Nancy wants me to mail a letter at the post office. It's awful important, she says, and it's got to get to Chicago fast. Chicago? Uh-huh. What's Nancy writing to Chicago for? That's what I'd like to know. She didn't tell you? Nope. Did you ask her? Yeah. And she wouldn't tell you? Hmm. You, uh, you think maybe I should have insisted on it, Paul? Oh, shucks no, son. Women like to be mysterious. And she wouldn't have given you the letter to mail if there was anything wrong with it. Uh, likely as not, she's buying something for the house and wants to surprise you. Well, she gave me the letter because she couldn't mail it herself. What's that? Well, it's a long trail to Birchville and a rough one. Uh, I don't figure she's buying anything. Mm. Of course, you could tell something by the address. It's a man's name, that's all. Well, I wouldn't worry about it, son. Like I say, women gotta have their secrets. Which way are you riding? Through Two-Bit Canyon. That's shortest. Kind of dangerous. You watch out for engines and outlaws. Yeah, yeah. I'll be seeing you, Paul. Adios. Get up there, boy. Get up. Come on, boy. We'll be through the canyon in just a few minutes. And there's nothing but open country all the way to Birchville. I sure don't like this. Oh! Why you come back to Valley? I don't know, Tonto. Rancher not fight anymore. All quiet here. I just want to make sure of that. See, when Nancy and Jerry got married, it should have put an end to all the trouble between the two families. Well, perhaps it has. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way. Uh, Kimisabi, you look. A horse without a rider. Uh, There's someone lying at the side of the trail. That man is hurt. Come on, Silver. Get him off the scout. How do you see that horse before? Oh, my. Belongs to young Jerry Tolliver. Maybe that him on the ground. That is there, Silver. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, Tonto. It is Jerry. Him dead? Not yet. We'll do what we can for him. Ah, Tonto fixed wound. He was riding when he was hit. There's some footprints there. I Tonto see him. Whoever shot him came close enough to make sure the job was finished. Here's something. Ah, uh, what'd you find? A broken spur. Could it belong to Jerry? No. Him still got both spurs and not broke. It must belong to the murderer. It's different enough so that we ought to be able to trace it. That good. How are you coming, Tonto? Uh, bandage all right now. We can't move him far, but we can get him over to that spring and make him comfortable on some pine boughs. Uh. And I'm going to leave you with him and ride on into the valley. If we're going to find the man who shot him, we'll have to move fast. Kimosabe. What's that you have? It's leather. Yes. The way it's been torn, I'd say it was broken open from his fall. Two envelopes and... Yeah, this is strange... There's nothing in them but blank paper. (laughs) 
Later that morning, Nancy Tolliver was entertaining a visitor. I figured it was about time you had a visit from your new paw, Nancy. You're always welcome, Sam. Sure got the place fixed up pretty. I'm glad you like it. Yep, the house and the horses and the cattle are in tip-top shape. You and Jerry are going to have one of the best ranches in the valley. Thanks to you and Pa. Well, it's natural for us to want our youngins to get on in the world. Uh, only one thing about the place I don't like. What's that? The look on your face. Has, has Jerry said anything to you? I knew there was something wrong without that. Oh, Sam, I don't know what to do. Well, it's not my place to give you advice. No. No one can do that. Not even your own ma and pa? I promised. You promised what? It's no use, Sam. There's only one good thing about it. Jerry's taking a letter over to Birchfield to mail. And if I get the right kind of answer, then I won't have to keep any more secrets. <sighs> Who's that just wrote up? Uh, you're awful jumpy. It can't be Jerry back so soon. He couldn't get to town and back before night. It can't be. What in thunder? A masked man. Don't be afraid. I'm not an outlaw. What do you want? I have some bad news for you, Mrs. Tolliver. For you, Sam. You know us? Yes. Jerry's been hurt. Hurt? What's happened? Where is he? He's still alive and he's being cared for. Where? You've got to take me to him. I'll do that as soon as you answer a few questions. You tell me Jerry's hurt and you expect me to stand around here and answer questions? I know which way he wrote. I'll go after him myself. But there's nothing you can do for him at the moment. And you don't want the man who shot him to get away, do you? Shot? Who? Who did it? Mrs. Tolliver, we found these torn envelopes and this blank paper on the ground beside him. Well, that's the letter you gave him to mail. But blank paper, I don't understand. Did you give your husband this envelope? Yes. And there was more than blank paper inside when you gave it to him? Of course. There, there must have been. Must have been? Aren't you sure about it? That letter has nothing to do with the man who shot Jerry. Didn't you find anything else near him? This, Mrs. Tolliver. What is it? Looks like a broken rowel from a spur. You're right, Sam. A silver sunburst. There's an engraving on it that should make it easy to trace. You recognize it? No. No, it couldn't be. Leaping cactus. There's only one hombre around here who's got spurs like that. But, Sam... And you know who I mean, Nancy. That spur belongs to your paw. To Ben Hayden? No, wait. This man is wearing a mask. We're taking his word for it that he isn't an outlaw. Why couldn't he be the one who shot Jerry? Because there'd be no sense in his coming here if he had. Well, he's trying to put the blame on Paul. What's more, I've had a look out the window at the horse he's riding. I'll bet my bottom dollar he calls him Silver. You're right. This is the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? Oh, help me, please. I'll do anything I can. Not if you try to save her paw, you won't. This spur isn't proof. It will be if he can't produce a pair like it. I'm heading for the Bar H Ranch. Then I'll go with you. Masked man, I, I know there must be a mistake somewhere. Don't let Sam go for his guns. Don't let him kill my paw. Are you going to stay here? No, I want to go to Jerry. You keep away from him. What? If he's still alive, I want him to stay that way. What are you saying? Jerry's my husband. I'm just remembering that letter. That has nothing to do Blank with... Blank paper. The man who shot Jerry was waiting for him in the canyon. You're the one who sent Jerry through that canyon today. Oh, Sam. Easy there. Nancy and her paw fixed up the ambush between them. Don't make any accusations until you've had your talk with Hayden. Come on, then. Uh, Mrs. Tolliver, you'll find your husband near the spring at the far end of the canyon. Toddles with him. Come on. I'm ready. And if Ben can't produce a pair of spurs... There won't be any gunplay. Maybe you can stop me today. But if Ben shot Jerry, then the feud's gonna bust wide open again. And this time it won't stop till every hate in the valley is wiped out. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and Sam Tolliver raced across the level rangeland toward the Bar H spread. When they reined up in front of the ranch house... Steady, Silver, steady, boy. Oh, hold there. I'll do the talking here, Sam. <laughs> Jerry's my son. You want the truth, don't you? Sure I want the truth. I'm going to make Ben admit You'll it. never get it if Ben knows that you suspect him. Let me tell him what's happened. He knows already. Good heavens, a masked man. Ben, come here quick. This is the Lone Ranger, Emmy. What's that? Did you say there was a mask? Oh, I, I guess it's all right. Sam here says the masked hombre is the Lone Ranger. May we come in? Well, sure thing, you're welcome. But what's up? What brings you here? Go on, ask him. Ben, do you own a pair of spurs with uh, sunburst rowels and made of silver? Hmm? Engraved with a circle of stars? Why, yeah, I got them down in Mexico. What about them? May I see them? Well, sure, if you want to. Uh, I know where they are. I'll get them. Hang it up by the window in my office. Yeah, I know. You don't have to tell me there's something wrong. I can see it in Sam's face. But would you mind explaining? We're it? waiting to see those spurs. You're on the prod, mister. I'd like to know why. Uh-huh. I'll bet you would. I can't find them, Ben. You must have put them someplace else. Well, look in the desk. I did. Gosh, I don't know. I haven't worn them for most two weeks. That ain't true, Ben Hayden. You know it. You wore them this morning when you rode into the canyon and ambushed my boy. What? Ambushed Jerry? Are you trying to tell us that Jerry's been killed? I don't have to tell Ben anything. Are you accusing we me? We get of... all the proof we need. What's more, it was Nancy that helped you trap him. Uh, trusting the Hayden is just like trusting a rattlesnake. Well, the man's gone clean out of his head. I'll show you if I... Hand over your gun, Sam. You can't stop I've me I've got from... you covered. Now, hand it over. Uh, all right. Here it is. Remember what I told you, though. Well, that's better. Now maybe you'll make some sense of this for us, masked man. Jerry was shot this morning in Two-Bit Canyon. We found this broken spur beside him. Does it belong to you, Ben? Hmm. Looks like mine. It is yours. But I didn't shoot Jerry. Where were you this morning? I rode over to my south meadow. Was anyone with you? Don't let him fix up an alibi. He'll say some of his men were with him. Maybe they were, but they weren't near the south meadow. I... I was alone. You can see this looks bad for you, don't you? Yeah, but I still... We'll have to turn our evidence over to the sheriff in Birchville. He'll have to arrest you. That don't suit me. The Hayden's got too much influence with the law around here. And the Tollivers take care of their own. Well, you aren't, Amy. I but... sure am. Well, think of Nancy. She was in on it with her paw. The masked man hasn't told you about that fake letter she gave Jerry. But I'm not forgetting it. You've had your warning, Ben. Next time we meet, slap leather. <laughs> doesn't do any good to cry either. But it's been so long. It's getting dark, Tonto. Uh, Isn't the Lone Ranger coming back here? Him come back when work's done. Listen. Uh, not more than one horse. There they are. It's Sam and his men. They must be coming here to get Jerry. Oh, oh, oh. There he is, boys. Lift him up gentle and put him in the wagon. What do you mean? Where are you going to take him? Home. Well, he'll be safe from the Haydens. Oh, Sam, you can't believe that I'd hurt him. It's hard to say. That we aren't taking any chances on it. I'd give my life to save him. He's going home. No, you not touch him. Stand aside, You Ingen. move him, him not live. You've got to leave him here. Now you're working with the engine to put something else over on us. I'm not. I swear I'm not. But if it weren't for Tonto, Jerry wouldn't be alive now. If you love him, let him alone. Come on, Silver. Uh, here, masked friend, now you wait and speak to him. At least you can do that, Sam. You know that the Lone Ranger wouldn't tell you anything that wasn't true. Uh, for some reason, he's on your side. Easy, boy, easy there. What's going on here? Uh, that fellow want to take boy home. But it's time for him to be moved. He'll be taken to his own home. That's my place. That girl's a Hayden. She's your son's wife. She and her paw tried to kill my boy once. He ain't getting a second chance. I can't blame you for thinking that. And the only one who can change your mind is Nancy herself. But I know it isn't true. No. But, what was that? It was Jerry. Ah, uh, him open eyes now. Oh, Jerry. I'm, I'm all right now. Did you hear what your pa said? Yeah. You don't believe it, do you? No, but... But what the Lone Ranger said was right. You've got to tell the truth. About... About what? I don't know. What, 
Whatever's been going on. Who is he? That doesn't have anything to do with it. Who are you talking about, Jerry? The man she met. Please. Please don't. Nancy, your father's in jail. What? I took him there myself and turned him over to the sheriff. But why? Because all the evidence we have on the shooting points to him. He couldn't have. I didn't think so either. The main reason I took him to Birchville was to prevent a murder by Sam and his men. But that won't stop him from being tried, Nancy. Tried and convicted. You've got to tell us the whole truth if you want to save your father. I... I'll wait for his trial. And let a murderer go free? He isn't. Speak up, Nancy. What are you holding back? I promised. You promised me to... to love, honor, obey. <laughs> Don't, Jerry. There was... There was someone the night of our wedding. He was hiding near the... the Bar H Ranch house. <laughs> All right, Jerry. I'll tell you everything. But it doesn't have anything to do with the man who shot you. Just... just tell us. It was Nick. My brother Nick. Nick Hayden, back in the valley? I thought so. He's my brother. I had to help him. He always hated me. No, Jerry. That's all changed. He's glad I married you, and he wants us to be happy. After all the trouble he made before he left here? That was a long time ago. Nancy, Jerry said he was hiding. Why should he be doing that? Why shouldn't he be welcome at your wedding party? Can't you guess? Do I have to put it into words? He was staying clear of your paw, that's what. No, Sam. Is he uh, wanted by the law? Yes. Not murder or anything like that, though. And he's innocent. But they've accused him of taking some money from a bank. And the only man who can clear him is in Chicago. Until he gets back here, Nick has to hide out. Where? You mean... Yes, where's his camp? He wouldn't tell me that. I've been leaving food for him in the Cottonwood Grove. You've seen him more than once, haven't you? I... The truth, Nancy. Yes, I have. Yesterday. How did you know? He gave you that letter. There was nothing wrong with the letter. It, it was only asking this man in Chicago to come back as fast as he could. Did you see it, uh, the writing? You think that... Of course I do. Don't you? Well, it may have been that way. What he gave me was a sealed envelope told me to put it inside another one and address it in my own handwriting. I was to have Jerry mail it in Birchville. And that meant he'd ride to the canyon this morning. Oh, no. What he gave you was an envelope filled with blank paper. He only wanted to set a trap for Jerry. Oh, no. I told you, he hated me. There's someone he hates more. Who do you mean? Your father. Just what happened before Nick left here. Well, I... I'm not sure. It all happened so fast and... Paul wouldn't talk about it afterward. I know they must have had a fight, only... Nick didn't care whether Jerry died or not. He walked over to him after he was wounded, and he could have finished the job then. But he didn't. He was more interested in getting someone else. The spur. The broken spur, evidence against Ben Hayden. He must have stolen the spurs in the ranch house. That was for your benefit, Sam. Huh? He wanted to start the feud again. And even if Ben didn't hang for the murder, you and the rest of the Tollivers would take care of him. And I fell for it. Nancy, why didn't you tell us that Nick was around? I can't believe it. His own poor. I believe it. I know he hated him. Why? Because he wanted the ranch, and he couldn't wait for Ben to die. Otto, we're riding to Birchville. Ah, uh, how to get Scout saddled plenty quick. What are you going to town for? Why don't we start out in the Cottonwoods Ben's here? life is still in danger. He'd be safe in jail from you and your boys because you'd ride to town all together. The sheriff would have some warning. Uh, but just one man. Oh, Jerry. No, don't, honey. It isn't your fault he's such a yellow coyote. I'm coming with you, masked man. You'd better stay here. There can't be too many of us. Not already now. And let's go, steady big fella. Come on, Silver. Get up. There he is. The moon shining full on his face. Uh, he's gone from the window. Uh, I'll have to get right up there. We'll be lying on his bunk so I can't miss. Easy now. I'll see my shadow as soon as I stand up in front of the window. Couldn't fall asleep so quick. I'll have to move fast. Now. Oh, my hand! He had a gun. He shot my gun right out of my hand. I gotta run. Faster, faster. Don't let him get away, Tonto. Use your rope. I'm the villain. Get out, scout. No, no. 
Son's in my office, Ben. I have no son. So, here you are. Yes, here I am. You were lucky. For the second time you've tried to kill me. I told you there'd be a second time. And you were just lucky. Couldn't make a shot like that again in a thousand years. I wasn't in the cell. It was a Lone Ranger who shot the gun out of your hand. Lone Ranger? Yes. If it hadn't been for him, I'd be dead. The Tollivers would be blamed for the murder and the feud would never die out. And the ranch had belonged to me. That's all you can think of, even now. You're going to jail, Nick. Yeah? Ben let you go free when you tried to kill him once before. But this time, it's out of your, his hands. You're just an ornery, low-down coyote that ain't fit to run at large. You can't prove I shot Jerry. And I didn't even fire my gun at Ben. You didn't have a chance. All the same, you haven't got any proof. And I'm not wanted any place else. You told Nancy you were. <laughs> that was to make her do what I wanted. Little fool always was soft-hearted. What about the letter? It isn't proof. This is. Well, where have you been, masked man? Looking for Nick's horse. Well, we found it, and we found this in the saddlebag. Why, that's... The other half of the broken spur. You see, he stole them from your office, and he hoped to put this back just to make the case complete against you. Yeah. Instead, we'll put him in jail for 20 years. This is all the evidence you need, Sheriff. You're right. Adios. So long. As for you, Nick, I'm putting you in the same cell your paw had. Now get moving. Get your hands off of me. I'll get out of here. I'll get out and tell you what the last thing you want to do. Well, I've lost a son. It had to be, though. Now Jerry and Nancy can be happy. The whole valley will live at peace. The Lone Ranger's done a fine job. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.